During this video, we'll be looking at how to create your first schematic design, taking what we've learned so far and putting that into one design. As you can see in your new project from video one, you can see you have a schematic design and a PCB design. Today, we'll be looking at making this design. As I just open it up for you. This is the schematic with a series of components that can be found in the Design Spark library. And then we'll be making the PCB to go along with it. Okay. So if you have your project open, we're going to now begin making the schematic design. So as you've seen before, we can use our library. And if you go along to folders, you need to make sure you have Design Spark enabled, the Design Spark library. So once you click it, if it's not enabled, you can press folder enabled, this little box here you need to tick and enable the libraries you'd like to use. So I have the Design Spark library currently enabled, so I can click my drop down and select Design Spark. This will present me with all of the standard symbols in the Design Spark library. So we're going to start by selecting Add Component on the left hand side in the toolbar. Once selected, you'll see that the Design Spark library is enabled. And the first component is a connector seal, connector seal 4, indicating how many pins. So I'm going to click Add. You also have the package here, DSC. Okay, so I'm going to add this. And a little tip to flip this component, I'm going to click F on my keyboard. And that flips it round for you. So I'm going to click and place that. Next, I have two capacitors, which are polarized. So in the Design Spot library, it's capacitor underscore POL. And I'm going to add those. And uh, there's two, so you can reuse the same component. And also one at the end of the design. So I'll leave that roughly over here. Next, we need resistors. So when we click Add Component, I'm going to type R on my keyboard just to, as a shortcut to skip to the resistors. So the package is DSC. If you're using surface mount, you have to switch this. Reference name will be R1. I'm going to click Add. And to rotate this resistor, I'm simply going to click R on my keyboard. So R, it will rotate. And I need four. So I'm going to click one, two, three, four. And you can align these afterwards. OK. So next, we need two transistors. So again, I'm going to go to Add Component. And instead of using the Design Spark library, I'm going to click the drop down and type T and go to a transistor library. This allows me to select from a list of many different transistors. And you can type in your desired component. Mine is 2N3904. And the component here has come up. So I'm going to select Add and press R to rotate the design. And just place that down. The second transistor is actually different because the arrow is facing a different way. So it's a different component. Um, the last value will be 906. You can add that. As you can notice, the arrow is different. I'm going to click. Uh, I next need a resistor. So if I go back to the Design Spark library, type R, resistor add, and rotate. This is at the end of the design. 
And finally, I need ground. I need to connect grounds. So I'm going to add component. And you can you can select ground or zero volt. And you'll get a connection here. So I'm going to place one there to connect to this ground and one at the end. As you can see, this component is not labeled. So we actually need to edit this component. So if you right click and we can go to edit component in library. And this allows us to change the terminal names. So pin one, I'm going to call plus VCC. Pin two is V in. Pin three, ground. And pin four, minus VE. So we can then save this. And you can save it to your own library. Press OK. You can then right click on the component and update component. Perform update. And as you can see, it's updated to a newer design with all of the pins labeled. Right, so now you can go ahead and connect your tracks. So, or schematic design tracks. So from ground, I'm gonna simply click and double click to connect my ground. And this is as simple as it is. You have some extra tools on the left hand side for adding tracks schematic connections, or you can simply double click on the pin. So for VCC, I'm going to double click, connect it to this resistor. And then from there, I'm going to connect it to the transistor. As you can see, that didn't actually make a connection. So you have to make sure that the cross goes away. Sometimes you have to redraw the line and double click so that there's actually a connection. Okay, so next I will make a connection here and connect that to V in. Pin number four. We'll come down and connect to this resistor, R4. And come along and connect to the transistor. As you can see, you have to make sure that the connection is made. This actually needs flipping, so I'm going to press F, so the polarizer is the right direction of the capacitor, and connect all of that up. Capacitor to resistor, and resistor to ground. Now all that's left is to connect the middle section. So I'm going to connect these resistors together. like so. Okay, there we have it. All of our connections are made. And as you can see here, the resistors and the capacitors, they have a default value. You need to change this so that it's clear what value your component is. So if you right click and go to properties, you'll see a value field. If you double click on this, you can change the value of the resistor. So for this item, it is 1K, so we can leave that as it is. And it's just displayed here. This resistor will need to be changed. And we can do that by double clicking here and type in 10K. This can also be done for the capacitors. Right click properties, value, 
and 2.2 UF. So there we have it, you've made your first schematic design.